Uh, in today's session, we'll be seeing how to install Oracle 11G software on Linux platform. In previous session, we saw how to download the Oracle software from Oracle website and also we saw how to uh, copy the software from the Windows machine to uh, our Linux box. Uh, now uh, for the beginning of this class, we have the, our Oracle 11G software on our uh, server. So we'll first connect to the server and we'll see how to um, uh, uh, unzip the software because the uh, software which we downloaded from Oracle website is in compressed format. So we have to uncompress this that and then we'll proceed with the installation. Okay. Okay. So first we'll be connecting to our uh, Linux machine. We can give the IP address that is 10. dot 17.57.41 okay we'll log in as root user and we'll log in the give the password okay before uh, unzipping of the oracle uh, software the first thing what we have to do is that we have to create a user who will be the software owner for this uh, software uh, not understand yeah when we are installing Oracle software on a Linux machine, we should install as a particular user. Okay. Okay. Now we should not do the installation as root user. Okay. And for that, we have to create a specific user, and also this user should be a part of two specific groups. Okay. A group is a collection of users. So the first thing what you are going to do is that we are going to create a group which will be the software owner group and then we will be creating a user under that group. Okay. Okay. So for our uh, example or our installation example, the software owner group is DBA and the Oracle software, the software owner is user Oracle. Okay, and what is the problem if we are um, installing under the root? Oracle software is designed in such a way that it won't allow the perm it won't permit the installation as super user, because when we are uh, installing uh, Oracle software, we have to. Uh, there are several users will be accessing that Oracle software, not only the the user as which we installed Oracle. So at that time, we have to create or we have to add multiple users uh, as a part of the group. Since root is a specialized uh, super user, we cannot add multiple or we should not add multiple users to that group due to the security constraints. Okay. So that is the reason we are creating a separate group and a separate user to install the Oracle software. So it's mandatory to create a group and the user under that group. That's correct. Okay. And a common convention is that DBA will be the group of the uh, Oracle software and Oracle is the owner, I mean, the, uh, the user Oracle is the owner of the uh, software. Fine. So the f first thing what we are going to do is that we will be uh, creating the group called DBA and then we will create a user uh, Oracle under the group DBA. Okay. Okay. So the first command to create a group is group add hyphen g eight hundred dba. So group add is a command hyphen g is the unique number for the group. So if you are not specifying what will happen is that the operating system, the Linux operating system, will assign a unique number. Okay. Okay. Since we have to, we would like to have more control on the uh, user creation and the group creation. We'll create uh, or we'll assign the group number by ourselves. Okay. Okay. So. So eight hundred yeah. is the unique number. Yes. Uh, how we'll understand that uh, that unique number has not been used okay. uh, previously? Yeah, that's a good question. To assign we can system for that we can give cat slash etc slash G R O U P S. Okay. Groups is a file which will contain the list of groups uh, in the operating system. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it is um, group. Yeah. So from here we can find out that the different groups. For example, if you are looking at the O install, the find out one is a group number. Okay. We've been, we've been for another user. He is having the group number find out two. 
so we have to go through the uh, file from the beginning till end yeah. and we have to find out um, if the file is huge yeah there is a you see whether say for example uh, in our in our example we want to assign the group number 800 correct okay so yes. for that we can easily check in this file whether a group number 800 is available or not okay that is by give cat slash etc slash group pipe okay. grep hyphen i 800 so okay. what we are doing is that we are uh, printing the contents of the etc group file and then searching for a particular word with 800 okay if you are getting a results here then that means the group is there and if you are not getting a result here then it means that the group does not exist okay okay yeah. so we'll go ahead and create the group that is group add hyphen g 800 dba okay okay press the enter key the group will be created now with the same example we can uh, verify whether the group is created or not that is slash cat etc slash group we can see the last the group called the db is created and with the group number 800 next one is that we have to create the user under this particular group is that fine yes okay so uh, uh, we will be using the command user add to add to create a user under a specific group so we will give the user add hyphen u again a unique number for the user hyphen g the group at to which the user should belong and hyphen d the home directory of that user and the finally the username so in this example we are using the user add command and uh, as we discussed in the group the user also should be having a unique number and that is specified by hyphen u okay okay we need not give the if you're uh, uh, there may be a little bit of confusion here because we have given the group number as 800 and here we are giving the username also as 800 it is not mandatory for a simplicity purpose we have given we can give any unique number uh, for the user okay okay and hyphen small g stands for the user's primary group and we want uh, for the oracle installation we want uh, the oracle user to be the part of the uh, dba group so that's the reason we have given hyphen small g then uh, the dba group name okay uh, primary group in the sense like this oracle user mm -hmm. uh, what we are going to create now yeah uh, the user can be a part of uh, any other groups also yes but the hyphen G uh, tells that he's a, a belonging to I mean primarily belong to the uh, DBA group yes suppose if you want to add multiple uh, one more uh, uh, this user should be a part of another group say for example we have seen that we have a group called O install yes right so I'm going to create the user in such a way that he will be the primary the, the users primary group will be uh, the DBA and at the same time he will be belong into some other group called Oinstone or okay. we can say that he the his secondary group will be uh, Oinstone so okay. a user can at a time he can belong to multiple uh, secondary groups but he will be only a part of a uh, single primary group okay okay so I'm just giving Oinstone and then hyphen d the home directory of that user that is home slash oracle and then oracle is, okay. is, is this clear, clear? yes yeah. a user is being created so we can verify whether the user is being created by again printing the contents of another file known as password file its location is cat slash etc slash pssw here we can see that a user or is being created with a unique number 800 he is a part of the uh, a group uh, the uh, DBA and we know that the DBA groups group ID was 800 and the home directory is slash home slash oracle and he is belonging to a, the bash profile in, in the in the case of Linux a user will be created under different shells and this user is under bash profile okay 
okay also another way to find out uh, this command is that before that we will just clear the screen we can just give id space oracle when you are giving here we are getting a lot of information it's a, a simple uh, a single command with which we can find out the username the group he is belonging and the user's primary group and the secondary groups okay is this clear yes okay now the next step is that we have to create uh, give a password for the oracle user which we can give by pswd space the username okay. but that is password a space oracle here uh, uh, pay uh, attention here it's not pswd it is just pswd okay so it is asking you the new uh, it's changing the password for oracle user and it's asking the new password for oracle user i'm just giving the password as oracle itself so oracle is, I mean, unix is complaining that there's an it's a bad password because it's a username uh, and the password is the same thing but since we want to keep simple a uh, little bit simple we'll continue with the same password okay. fine so the user is being created now uh, uh, since user is created let's log in to us that user uh, and see whether everything is working fine here okay. we'll give the username as oracle and the password is oracle okay this time we didn't had any error uh, we could log into the oracle user is that fine yes okay now uh the the software uh, which we download from the o oracle website is copied to a directory called slash oracle in the in this file system so let's go to that directory that is slash oracle uh, we'll give an ls hyphen ltr to see the list the contents of this file and here you can see that we have linux x86 11g release to database one out of two and we have linux x64 x, uh, 11g release to database 2 out of root. that are, that means there are two files which contains oracle software okay uh, do you remember that the previous session we saw that the, while going to the otn website there was two files to be downloaded yes okay now since the software is available with us we can use the zip command that is the unzip command uh, to create the files or to unzip the oracle software so the next step is that we have to unzip the software which we download from the oracle site we can issue the command unzip then give the complete path that is database we can issue the command unzip then the file name okay we can see that by unzipping it is creating a directory called database and unzipping the contents to that database directory oh. okay so uh, we should be uh, clear that uh, we have to unzip the both the files here not only the single file okay So uh, we unzip one file, and we'll unzip the second file as well. Okay, the unzipping is completed. Now let's first clear the screen by issuing the clear command, and then give ls hyphen ltr. So here we can see that a folder called a database is being created here. Okay. Okay. So let's move to the directory and see whether we have the all the software components are available give ls hyphen ltr again so we can see that there are a lot of uh, directories have been created and also we have a, sh a script that is run installer which will help us to uh, do the oracle uh, software installation okay okay the next step is that we will be starting the installation fine okay 